Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to use the Subby tool in the Rhino 7 to quickly to design this sketch model for a chair design. Are you ready? Let's get started. For this chair as uh, so a sketch model quickly to get your design done and so you can see the shape we are going to use the sub tool for the top part and the bottom part we can just use a regular rhino nerve tool all right so that's starting from a scratch if you're a furniture designer you may want to make sure that you model in the true size uh, this is just a sample so i'm not worried about the size because i'm not going to mill or print it out okay now coming into the sub d tool in the rhino 7 you have the first one here is called create sub d plane when you click on it on the top then it will ask you how many count you wanted to have an x and y on the x right here i'm going to change to 4 and on the y there i'm going to keep it as 10 and that's hit enter so that's starting with the first corner to the second corner kind of roughly to see how big you want those to be i mean you can change it if you selecting the sub d if you feel like they need to be longer or something like that you can still scale it if you want to all right i'm going to move use the align tool and i want to align centers and i'm just going to type it zero i like to have everything's right in the middle of my construction point all right so right now if you take a look on my chair uh, earlier you're going to see the chair that i have let me move it to this size as a comparison it has equal size on the top and the bottom and the neck area is a little bit more narrow so what i like to do is pick up this face is right in the middle here and this face and this face and simply just delete them so then i get that basic shape there uh, second thing I wanted to do is I actually wanted to fold this guy up, right? Uh, to having the edges a little bit rounded there. So what I'm going to do is pick up all those curves and having this using the rotating tool and I'm going to rotate it somewhere about here and moving my mouse up like this. So that way you can get this kind of a curve there. Now, if this curve is too much for you, you can also use the command, like pick up again, pick up those two row. Instead of using a rotate, we can use the bend command and we're gonna pick up the whole sub D right here. And we're gonna maybe just about this area. And I wanna bend it up to be straight, something like this okay that might be something that you want to do uh, so it's up to you how you like to do it i personally like to deal with the point so i'm going to pick up this guy and simply again i'm going to use the bend command and going to snapping somewhere here going to bend it up and something like this you can also pick up those points if you feel like this is not uh, sharp enough you can have this moving a little bit and have the second row to moving close to the edge so you will have a more 90 degree or more sharpened angle on the chair over there okay now on the other side how do i get it exactly the same we are going to use the command for reflect and it's going to ask you to pick up the sub d and pick up the center the center it's going to be y axis which side you want to keep click on it and hit enter then the other side will automatically be like that okay so now let me move this chair up here how do we also going to bend it there i'm going to pick up all the point from here and up and i'm going to use the rotate tool and rotate it from this point going up 90 degree like this then we'll get this shape all right, so if the shape it worked for you, you no longer want to change anything, or you can alter it. For example, now I'm looking at it, maybe the shape 
And the bottom, I want it to be a little bit puffier. So I want to pick up the point maybe right here, here, and here, and kind of pull it out a little bit. So make it a little bit puffier. It is up to you for whatever you want it to change. Again, maybe this point, I want them to go lower so it will have a different shape. Or oh, actually, having it taller seems to look better. Okay, so now we have this surface. We need to turn them into the solid. The easiest way is actually going to offset the sub D. It's going to ask you to pick up the sub D. I'm going to pick up this one. And it's going to ask you offset inside or outside. In this case, I like to offset outside so they don't jam in together. So I'm going to flip it, all of them. For how many millimeter? Uh, or how thick you want is really up to you. I have a set it distance for two and hit enter like that. All right, so now I have this piece and if you look at the render, it's really harsh. It's not really the same like what I have there, right? So to make the edge is nice and soft and we want to select the edges and we want to remove the crease, select like all of them. Hit enter, now I have something like this. Okay, so you can keep changing uh, if you like by selecting the age or you can selecting the point and you can still tweak it, right? It is still within that history there. All right, now I'm going to leave it here and for you to tweak your own. Maybe this come out a little bit. All right, so now on the bottom that we have, we need to have uh, the leg. And what I did is really simple. I'm just going to draw a straight line going like this. And in this straight line, I would like to have it be pipe with a flat cape. And something about this size and coming down the bottom, it's tapered just a little bit. And I'll get something like this. Right. Once you like it, this is a solid, but we need to turn it into the right place. So I'm going to pick up this piece, look at my top view, coming over here, coming over here. That will be my first one, right? And I would like to rotate it here a little bit at the front view. And also, I would like to rotate it both front view and the side view and put it into the right place. All right. So this is what. I have there and then you want to double make sure it is right it don't feel like it's too long too short or whatever uh, it won't stand you need to make sure it's balanced right one is is balanced we are going to mirror to the other side so I'm going to snap in here to center again from here we're gonna mirror again to this side so then we have the chair and for for sure this is way too long so I'm going to draw another box and going to like somewhere lower and simply just bowling difference this guy out of this guy all right so then i will have this chair and you can making the tiny lake by extruding extra if you want to i hope you enjoy the video please like and comment and let me know what you think about this tutorial if you like to know more about the sub i have a sub course on my website you are more than welcome to check it out thank you for watching and i'll see you next